10 hit. Hi guys, General Splatton here. Got another video of something I think is worth uh, showing y'all. You might not be aware of. Uh, got some um, models that I recently bought off eBay that I wanted to show you. Uh, something that uh, you might want to consider. And here's the first one. This is a game called Robo Gear. It's a company out of Russia that puts it out. I don't even know if they're still in business. Like I said, I got these off eBay. What you're looking at is a T-Rex model. These are quick fit, no glue. In other words, they snap together. And uh, fully posable. And they come unpainted so that you can paint them. A little plastic kit. So, let's see what we get here in the box. Hold on. Okay. And here we are. You get sprue with cockpit, all the torsos, pieces. Next, leg, torso. There's an enclosed cockpit right there. There's the man there. And the other part was over here. And weapons. And more. And the instructions for the man. His stat card for the game. What it does. And everything. So, that is the T Rex. Put all that to the side. Try to get through showing y'all. The next one is the Werewolf. looks pretty cool let's see what it looks like hold on the man again the werewolf stat card more stuff and this is a pretty heavy sprue, so this is not rinky-dink plastic, folks. It's, it's a good quality plastic. Nice detailing for the models. Engine, cowling, half of a chain gun that looks pretty good right there. Pincher claw, and then the big fist over here on this side that you could put on it. Then, not, not very much flash. Mold lines are on these. And weapons, feet, engine. So, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff to paint up. Like I said, pretty good detail. So, we'll put this one to the side for the moment and I'm gonna try to put it back in the box and then lastly a spider Oops, let's get a little closer there there's the spider so what does it look like hold on okay here's the that car for the spider. Now, and the body, the big old guns, parts with it. Like I said, they're they're well molded. Uh, mold lines, yes. Very little flash. Uh, a good quality plastic. It's, I don't see any pitting or. Uh, sunken things or there's one right there where the plastic sunk down I forget what those are called and here's the leg sprue cockpit and there's where the legs join up on the bottom like that right there so nice detail work on the legs as you can see and here's our gentleman Let's see what how he looks 
Come on. There we go. Uh, not a bad figure. Pretty good. You know, I can live with it. It's about the size of a guard, uh, Imperial Guard, or other figures. Looks like that you could put in there and, you know, switch it out. All right. Let me put this back up here. You can get back to the T Rex. There it is, the T Rex. Uh, this is an IMAX model. It's made by a company out of Ru uh, Russia. Technolog. There's a Technolog.ru for the website. Like I said, I don't know if they're still in pr production or not. Uh, I'm guessing they probably are. Maybe. But that you paint them up now I'll be back in a second after I've built up the T-Rex to let you see the scale and size of one up uh, next to another model so be back in a moment okay guys we're back got it built up and here is the model you're looking at uh, let me get a an orc here there's an orc so good size yeah, it's four inches or so yeah about that here's my hand beside it so give you an idea you know fist size neat little model just snapped together uh, no problems I can take it apart to clean the parts Get the mold lines off, paint it up. Cool. It is posable, so it'll bend down. You can move the feet around, stuff like that, and bend them, bend the, make it, I guess, jumping over something if you wanted to. Hold on a second. Excuse the shaky cam. Let's get it back. There you go. So, neat little model. I really like it. And the others go together just as well. <clears throat> uh, one quick thing though. The little guy, I'm not impressed with him. Uh, the arms just flip and flop. They'd have to be glued in, but the legs just kind of, the body snaps together and the legs just dangle. And then you just, you would stick an arm in like that. So and they flip and flop so you'd have to do something with that but you could clean him up and get him sitting in there pretty good uh, put the cockpit where it's open uh, you could put plastic in there like it's uh, glass or leave it open like it's a roll cage I think there should be get some uh, clear plastic put in yeah so this would uh, look like uh, glass because the other enclosed cockpit here so if you didn't want to model that inside and the inside is very bare bones but a modeler and a modder could really do some stuff in there I think so uh, that's it and here is something that's pretty cool about it and I'm fixing to show you. Alright, just stick it up like that. Let me back up here. Try to get all this in frame. See the little engines on the side? Ah! Ah! Take that, GW! <laughs> It's got a little spring-loaded cannon in there so you can shoot the missiles out. It comes with these little missiles. And so <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> anyway, men and their toys. So uh, it actually fires. And um, somebody can make a really neat stop-motion video with this because of all the movability and posability of it. Uh, but now, 
Here's the really cool part I want to show you. This is where I got it. Let me see if I can get in there. And I, I can't see my screen, so I don't know if that's picking up. Guy's name is Pro Tinker. P R O T I N K E R. Uh, out of Ohio. Here's what I paid for it $6.50 with $2 shipping. Yeah, $2 shipping. $6.50 per model. Oh, and uh, here, let's see his other items up for bid. And he's got multiples of this. There's a the box set for $35. T-Rex, Mad Bull, there's a Sprut, uh, a Varan. The plane is a Thunder right there. There's a Helix, uh, that's a kind of a missile launcher. Uh, a Hurricane, there's a Werewolf. And see the prices over here? Six fifty. So I'm not joking. That's the cool part about this model. Six dollars and fifty cents. So uh, go check them out. Just do a search on eBay for Robo Gear, and you'll bring up uh, others. But I just want to show you his. His seems to be the cheapest price. Good guy to deal with. Shipped it right out. So uh, he's got lots more. Uh, so. And you saw the current uh, listings that are still going as of right now. So, uh, good kit. Great, great value. Uh, you can use this in a multitude of games. You could proxy it for a Dreadnought uh, in uh, 40K. Uh, you can make dioramas with it. You can make movies with the thing. You can shoot GW's website with the thing. <laughs> Uh, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, very good plastic. Not impressed with the man, but a good sturdy plastic. It, this has got some heft to it. Uh, it's a good size, you know, four or five inches. Uh, could do a, a modder uh, to use the feet or legs or, or any portions of it for other models, you know, cheap source of material. Uh, neat model. I really like it. It is a great value, great price. Maybe it's a great game for all I know. Uh, so, check them out and see what you think. Uh, I'm glad I got mine. I, I think they're going to look great on the uh, shelf once they get painted all up. So, tell me what you think. Got any questions? I probably won't be able to answer them as far as the company, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, just thought I'd throw this out there and say, hey, you know, I'm impressed and I like these little guys, so it's up to you. Well, this is General Splatten asking you please rate and subscribe, and I'll talk again. Dismissed.